and elected to defer. And Kenyon Rambo and Michael Wiley are back deep. Paul Edinger has us underway, and a good deep kick will be taken on a knee by Rambo. Elisari with a give to Wiley on first down, bounces off the tile and gouges out about four yards. On second and six, Wiley makes a first man miss. Wiley motions out of the eye. On third and two to the air of Elisari and a strike for Reggie Germany in the first down game. Columbus, even without him. They manage the upset. Belisari, well protected, guns it for Germany over the middle, caught for the first down near midfield, a gain of 14 yards. So on the opening possession, they move it to midfield. And off the fake to Wiley. Another completion, Rambo with his first catch, hanging on for dear life to make the tackle at the 27-yard line. Kenyon Rambo is not just a fast guy, although he runs 4-2-8 in the 40. He comes in here where the big guys play, catches the ball, looks it in, explodes up the field, and he does it all the time. Back up to his tricks. Alasari under pressure and drop. First sack of the day by the Spartans. Germany and Rambo right. Quarterback draw of Alasari fooling nobody. Ripples away from Sean Wright, finally drop back at the 37. On the special teams. Two weeks ago at Wisconsin. Stoltz gets the bounce at the five, and this is killed at the two-yard line. And on third and four, we see the freshman T.J. Beckett. We also see Burke having a problem on the center exchange, having to dive on it and set it for no game. Against the pass as well in a passing situation here. Out of the shotgun, Belisari is again swarmed and dropped third sack by the Spartans. First to get there in a sea of green, Josh Thornhill. Everybody on the opposing team coming at you, this is how it feels, especially when there's a blown pickup. Josh Thornhill is clean, no chance to escape. And now it is Stoltz having to punt from near his goal line. Gary Scott watches this one sail over the Michigan State bench. And motion from Baker, the tight end. Burke delivers on target. And is this rule to catch for Burris or not? It is. Plaxico with the grab on the dive. Good for 12 yards against the coverage of Ahmed Plummer. He uses every fraction of inch to get this thing right here. Nice diving catch. That is hard to do, folks. Burke on target for Burris. We're about five yards in front of Plummer. Duckett motioning out of the tailback slot. They give to the fullback. Moss needed two, got a lot more than that. Slams to the 42 of the Buckeye. Count. Play clock under five. And gives to Duckett. Good hold through the middle for TJ. And he pushes the pile forward inside the 35-yard line. Down. Nice audible here. Seeing the gash in the defense. You can see right here. Good job of audible. Audibleizing by Burke. Took him a long time, but it was worth the wait. Second and two. Second down to Spartans. Ball to Ohio State. Line. <laughs> First down. Second to a very short three. And get off tackle. It's Duckett. Breaking tackles inside the 30 to the 28. My, maybe my sole contribution to the offense this year. I want to see DJ Duckett more at tailback and. As a result, this has turned into T.J. Duckett's possession. Good five-yard pickup here on first down. Nate Clements on the tackle. One of the disappointments for Ohio State this year is the performance of Niall Diggs. Should have been a four-yard loss. The All-American candidate linebacker simply couldn't get the freshman on the ground. For the Buckus and he had expected him better. Got it through the middle, untouched until he reaches the 15. He's down to the 12, another first down game of 11 yards. When somebody comes in the game that lights up the offensive line, this is what happens. 
Jensen redeeming himself for his former mistakes. Keeps his feet moving. Good job by Secura. Good job by Sean Mason. And the linemen are suddenly energized and they're blocking just a little bit harder. Straight ahead, power football. Under the 12 minute line, second quarter. Burt hit on the blitz and dropped quickly. This is not a good play call. You're knocking them off the ball. You're running it down their throats. You run an empty backfield. Uh, Morris Watts. Now look at the third and 22. And on the reverse, throwback. It's Burris for Burt. Oh, what timing by Gary Berry. That pass hung up just long enough for Berry to unload, and he comes away the worse for the contact. Plaxico loses vision. There are too many people between him. He can't find Burke. Finally, he sees him, makes a... <laughs> Burke might need to signal for a fair catch there. The free safety locates him. Whoever had contained on the backside probably... Cotton, number 52, was not where he was supposed to be. He has no problems like that. Here is 13 out of 16. And has this one up with plenty of lead. He is good. We got two, second and eight for Belisar. And Germany slung out of bounds by Ronaldo Hill. At pace this year. Third down, play fake. Belisari oh, hanging oh, it up for Rambo and can't bring it in. Single coverage with Ant Campbell. Jarrett, 68 yarder in the first quarter. Burke over the middle and snagged at the 21 yard line. They welcome back Gary Scott. Everybody on the team, and especially Plaxico Burris and Bill Burke, have been talking about how priceless this Burke guy is. is. Now you see why. A deep dig pattern. Motions out wide. Burke looking for him. Settles short instead. Baker makes the catch inside the five yard line. No game. Second and goal. Play action. Burke under some duress. Gets away once, but not twice. And a sack all the way back at the 17 yard line. Mike Collins. Crying shame that the protection Mark's broke down here. The first thing you see is marvelous Mike ball Collins. handling. A good quarterback makes the ball disappear. But because Sean Mason is beaten quickly by Brent Johnson, no chance to throw the football. And call timeout, discuss this important third and goal from the 17. Throw to the end zone, defender falls down, Burns makes the catch. Sixth touchdown of the year for Plaxico Burns. The post corner. Plummer running man for man, trips over his own man. Good concentration to be sure he puts the ball away. The doctors looked at it um, a couple days ago and they said it's going well. How can he chip in with a team with young guys like Jason Richardson from the sideline? What are you doing? Right now, I'm um, right now. Burris stood for 12 yards. Huge hole for Duckett. And then ran under the arms of Portland Bullard. Bill Snyder doesn't rebuild. On that side now by the On the roll for Baker. And on his own, he may have picked it up. From the 27, back to Duckett in the power game between the tackles. Another short drop and a strike. How can they leave Burris that open? Virtually uncovered. One of the biggest weapons in college football. 19 yards, finally recovering to knock him out. Confused here. He looks in the backfield. Number 19, right there, is not supposed to be jumping inside. His fifth catch. Play fake. Well executed. Burke will keep to the corner of the end zone. Upended by Plummer, and they will not give him six. They're going to mark him out at the one. Decided he wasn't going to let him in there. Here comes Burke. He turns on that five flat speed to the goal line. Burke faking, gets away from Barry, crosses to a wide open Chris Baker, touchdown. Saturday, tune in next week. Michael Wiley, we're not much to show for his first half of work. Out the bench, he's the pace he's on in this first half. We have one timeout left, and Belisari going deep, and all the is Rambo dropped it. Oh, my goodness. 
It looks like it was a combination of Eric and Hill. How can you drop that ball, Kenyon? You're a big timer. Those are the plays that you have to make. Wilson's numbers speaking for themselves. This should be his best punt of the game. Very stuck. Clemens. And the Spartans most likely will hang on to uh, their final first half timeout and settle for a 17 to nothing lead heading to the locker room. And he will kick it away to Little John Flowers or Herb Haygood. And it's Haygood a yard deep. And a bit of a crease. And the Spartans will start at the 28-yard line. Tucker carried it 10 times, 41 yards to lead. Michigan State on the ground. But again, Clemens gets it. Roy Clemens bursting to the 44-yard line. A pickup of 14. It's pretty well owned on the line of scrimmage. And again, right through the middle. Gaping hole for Clemens to the 44 of Ohio State. A 12-yarder after a 14-yarder. In the making, doesn't turn around for them. They still got Michigan on the schedule. In Ann Arbor, this will help. Diggs coming on the blitz to sack Burke back at the 46. Don't work, stop. By knocking back the offensive line of Ohio State. Fake to Wiley. Well, Asari again under duress. What else is new? Sacked at the 30. Able to see him anyhow. Fourth sack of Belisari. Gets this one underway, and it's almost intercepted by Ant Campbell, who stepped in front of Germany for this kick by Stoltz. One again, not very deep. Bounds to the 30. Thomas Wright gets a big hit in his assault on the yardage record against Purdue. Burke through the air, and it is picked off by Plummer. Ahmed Plummer up the side, gets away from Burke. Caught by Ivory McCoy, the tight end, and at last, the big play that the Ohio State defense has looked for Burke shows up. All day long, Ohio State's waiting for the big play. Plummer makes a great break on the ball, knocks it up in the air, and was able to come down with it. Then he makes a nice run down the sideline, eludes Burke to add to it, and then Michigan State has two penalties on top. Let's snap this one from the nine goal to go. Belisari inside the five. The catch is made by Germany and quickly spun down by Amp Campbell. It'll be third and goal. They have missed their last seven third down conversions into the end zone. This one is caught by Michael Wiley. Touchdown, Buckeye. Oh, and that's the time the head coach should blow up. Nobody covers Wiley. He recognizes it, gets the signal to Belisari, who alertly gets the ball to him for the easy touchdown. They've got a rally. Offense needs to help by getting out of the shadow of their own end zone. This will help. A strike to Gary Scott. Burke, shovel pass underneath the blitz. And here goes Duckett. He's not quite 290. T.J. Duckett. Time at work to perfection. Suddenly, they're at the Buckeye, 49, where they go to Burris. Lumber gave him the little pad, comes up quickly, wraps him up. By Scott Burris, now joined by Baker on the right side. That's where Clemens heads. All kinds of room for Lloyd Clemens, and a nice cutback, neatly done, down to the 17. That is with Michael Wiley. All Big Ten selections. Into the end zone, and double coverage incomplete. A 34-yarder. Which is good. And the Buckeye offense move against what has, for most of the year, been the best running defense in the country. Rambo returns out to the 21 yard line. So the long yard line. answers the touchdown by the Buckeyes. Well, Asai throws it away, intercepted by Richard Newsom. Who was the only man anywhere near that pass? And unfortunately, this is how young Steve Belisari will have to learn. He's expecting a certain route. It doesn't happen. 
He unloads the ball at the worst possible time. Clemens to the 15. Not like that. We'll start with an Edinger field goal try of 34 yards. He's hit today from 33 of 34. And you can tack on another one for the senior Edinger out of Lakeland, Florida. 23 seventh. Given three plays in their last eight possessions. They come after Mockerman and again incomplete for Germany. Low end over end job. Barry Scott decided to return it and comes back only four yards, a 36 yard kick. From some adversity that, that we've experienced in the last two weeks. Well, check, check, and check so far. Burke on the roll. Open is Scott. First down. You cannot underestimate his importance. Inside out, it's good to see if you're a Michigan State fan that they haven't gone totally conservative and Gary Scott continues to make the big play. Catches 81 yards and a touchdown. Clements. There's some big first down games, most of them right through the middle in the third down conversion area. Burke forced to scramble, can't get away from Joe Brown, the junior backup defensive tackle from Tucson, Arizona there. The stadium, the statue of Sparty. First and 10, Mockerman second series hit as he delivers to Wiley. And Michael Wiley turns it back upfield after breaking a tackle. By far his best play. 18 yards, he did it almost all on his own. Completed pass. That is the first, first down by the Ohio State offense since their initial possession of the game. And this is back to form. T.J. Turner in charge of the offense. That lost three. Down goes Mockerman at the 25. Jace Saylor gets in this time. Pretty rested. Since the first drive, the Ohio State offense has had it less than 13 minutes. Deep ball incomplete for Burris. Minus eight rushing. The Buckeye. Time for Mockerman. Incomplete for Germany. Making the play over his back was Rinaldo Hill. So Stoltz's 10th punt, not any better than the last one, except for maybe the roll. Gary Scott's return is a good one. And a tailback, it's still Clemens. He inducted a very effective one-two punch. That's about nine yards for Clemens down to the 28-yard line of the Buckeyes. And how would Michigan State respond after the back-to-back -back blowouts in the off week? And the answer is very well, thank you. Third down. First to the 15-yard line by Foster. Doss makes the tackle, perhaps saving a touchdown. And Michigan State bent on finishing this one off in style. This one with a completely different outlook on the rest of the year for Michigan State. Wiley. Another game. They now turn their sights toward trying to finish 9-2 and two and make their first New Year's Day bowl in some 11 years. Our Axe Equitable players of the game, Gary Berry, busy, busier than he'd like to be. He's made a dozen tackles. This is Matt Keller. And that might be our final snap. So Ohio State Sees a two-game winning streak in. They fall to six and four. Three and three in conference play. They can just about forget another 10-win season, another January bowl appearance. They simply have to figure out how to play Ohio State football again because at no point today did they look like Ohio State. They gained only 81 yards total in a 23-7 wipeout.